Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Jeb RC MX3 which is also called the Sparrow. This was this has been requested many times on the channel and I got it in the other day and we are going to be building it very soon. Now this is kind of like it's pretty cool actually. There's two versions. There's a Stretch X which comes each arm comes separate and it kind of fits together like a puzzle and then there's a True X where it just comes one piece bottom plate. And personally, I prefer the one-piece bottom plates. Some people don't, but this is my preference. I really like it. It's just less of a hassle to make sure everything's tying down. So overall, I really do like it. It's pretty light also. So what I have planned for this, and um, actually I was thinking that we were going to be able to put some 1106 motors. So the reason why I delayed this build here is because it takes up to, uh, from 1306 motors up to 1408. So I got myself some of the, some of the new Brother Hobby tiny motors here. So we're going to be installing on this guy. For the... Mounting solution. Let's just talk about the overall frame. So, um, it is a 139 millimeter wheelbase. It's a three inch quadcopter. They're stating it weighs 39.6 grams. And let's just quickly take its weight since they're stating that real quick. And I should have zeroed it out real quick. So, yeah. Let's see if it turns off here. Alright, and we're going to zero it out now. It's coming in at 42 grams. And, um,. I need to get a more sensitive scale here. 43 grams. So 43 grams. They're stating it's 36.94, which is 40 grams. So I'm 3 grams heavier. But that could be due to the anti-slip battery thing that I've installed here. Now, it does come with an LED, which just slides right through the back here, which is also pretty awesome also. But I don't think I'll be using that. And you do have some kind of holes for your antennas and your SMA if you're going to use an SMA. Or you can just route your antenna through here if you're using some kind of dipolar, which is what I'm going to try to get, go for here. Reduce weight and as well as um, redu not take so much space in here with some kind of pigtail just twisting and then just coming up in here. Now, when I first got this, I noticed something pretty cool and pretty awesome, which I really liked. And I think more quads and more frames should be doing this now. If you take a look on the bottom here, we actually have two mounting solutions. We have a 20 by 20 and we have the normal standard 30.5 by 30.5. So if you didn't have a 20 by 20, you could stick a 30.5, just a normal fat ass flight controller in this guy and it'll fit right, right ahead. However, the camera mounting solution, I believe it only fits a micro at the moment. So I do have a couple run cam micros and it's going to be pretty awesome. And we're going to check it out. It's the minis, possibly the minis. Yeah, I think this will fit in mini just perfect. And I think we could also fit a micro in this guy. However, the build video will come very soon and it will know exactly what we're going to fit on this guy. But as you can see, the mounting holes, they're stating it's 1306 to uh, 1408 motors so basically 13 to 14 motors so that's going to be pretty interesting here I was, was planning on putting some if it was super light I was planning on putting some Emacs 1106 6000kV or something like that but that is not going to work on this guy so we're, I did get a little bit bigger motors uh, we're going to be installing on this guy so overall I mean he's pretty light uh, Jeb RC is known for good quality I have nothing to complain about and um this is, this seems like it's going to be a good one. I'm hoping it's going to be a good one. I'm going to use the HLRC XJB, I think it's called, stack here, which is the ESC and the flight controller. And then that new VTX thingy this company provided me with. It looks pretty cool. Actually, it goes up to uh, 600 milliwatts for a 20 by 20 layout. That's just insane. And uh, it does have smart audio. and It has all that kind of crazy stuff. So it's going to be pretty interesting. We're going to be testing it out and um, seeing what's up with it. So, um, yeah, well, that's all I really got to say right now, guys. So if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. If anyone's used it, anyone's played with it, please let us know down in the comment section. I'm curious, and I'm sure others will be also. And that's concluded for this video, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.